Hello, guys. And welcome to today's webinar. Uh, I apologize for my late entry. I realize that quite a number of you are already here. I should have been here before you guys, but it shows how serious you are. Yes, so I want to welcome you to today's webinar. But just to be sure that everybody can hear me, please type yes if you can hear me. If you can hear me, please type yes. Mm, so far, I have only one yes. Okay, another yes, another yes. Three now. So if three people can hear me, I want to assume that the rest of you can all hear me as well. Yes. So like I was saying, you are welcome. It's, it's another... Wednesday, like we usually do, we meet and learn about Forex. So uh, what we are going to do today is we are going to continue from where we stopped last week. You know, last week we were tackling support and resistance. And because of the bad network, we were not able to finish. So we just continue from where we stopped. And if there's time, we look at natural support and resistance. If there's time, we also look at implied support and resistance but before we even do that we will have a brief overview of the outlook we did on sunday so we see the updates of those pairs we analyzed and how they are moving some of you took the trades and you made some money some people personally uh, some people sent me private messages and some even said it in the group they took the trades and they made some money and they are quite happy about that so we we'll just look at it briefly very shortly you know, just to update ourselves on how those pairs, uh, those trades are going before we get to today's main business. As usual, I can see new people here. And I'm so happy about it. Every time we organize webinars, we have new people joining us. That means our powerful brand is circulating, it's making waves. So I'm, I'm, I'm glad about that. So those of you who are joining us for the first time, I want to welcome you to your very first ever Handtech webinar. Now, Handtech is a leading broker in the industry. Yes. One of the very best, if not the very best. Before I joined Handtech, I, was, I traded with quite a number of brokers. And I can tell that this broker is far ahead, by far. Yes, Mr. Robert, I noticed you. You are one of the new people. You are welcome to Hantech's webinar. It's your very first webinar. One of the new guys that joined. You are welcome. Yes, yeah, so like I was saying, I've, I traded with quite a number of brokers before I joined Hantech's project. And if I want to compare Hantech's services to the brokers I was trading with, I'll not mention their names. Like I usually say, we are not here to sabotage anybody. We are here to push our brand forward and get as many people on board as possible. But the truth is, the difference is very wide. Now, uh, this is always what I do, you know, for the purpose of the people who are joining us for the first time. Hantech has been in existence for 30 good years, three solid decades, which is a very remarkable achievement. Because like I usually tell you, the statistics out there is that most businesses don't survive after 10 years. After 10 years, most businesses go bankrupt and the business collapses. So any business that is able to exceed that, should I call it half-life, you know, and survives after 10 years, is doing something right. How much more a business that has survived three good decades? It means that business is doing something very, very right. So uh, there are a lot of brokers out there, but you realize that most of the brokers out there are very young. you find some that are five years, two years, three years, and what have you. And I usually say, when you want to do business, you want to make sure that you are, you are involved with a business that has lasted the test of time. That has been around for quite a while. Because it tells you that business is doing something right. And that business is very successful and has made a lot of money. That is why you must do business with, 
an enterprise or a firm that has been around for quite some time. So that is one plus to Hantech, the fact that it has been in existence for 30 good years. Hantech has tier one regulation. And when we say tier one regulation, uh, for those of you who have been trading for a while, you know, Forex brokers are regulated. And we have, the regulatory bodies have been categorized into tier one, tier two, and I think tier three. Now, tier one regulatory bodies are very, very strict and they raise the bar or the standard so high that many brokers fall short of the standard. And so they have to settle for tier two and even tier three regulation. Now, any broker that is regulated by a tier one regulatory body is very, very reputable and very, very reliable because like I, like I said, it takes, the standard is very high. And so most brokers are not able to meet it. So with tier one regulatory bodies, if you make the least mistake, as a broker, your license can be revoked or suspended, and you can even be shut down completely. So brokers that are regulated by these tier one regulatory bodies are always up to the task and are always very, very initiative. You know, and Hantech is one of the few brokers out there that can boast of tier one regulation. The money you require, they require for you to become a tier one regulator is even quite huge. So most brokers are not able to you know, come up with such money. But Hantech has been able to do that. And Hantech goes by the rules and regulations that have been, uh, you know, given out by these bodies. So you should definitely trade with a broker that has tier one regulation. Now, another reason why you must do business with Hantech is that Hantech, unlike many other brokers out there, when you sign up, give you a designated account manager. Now, the purpose or the responsibility of that account manager is to help you solve technical issues regarding your account. His duty is not to help you trade, no. But his duty is to help you solve technical issues that you may be facing. For example, you might, uh, after signing up, when you upload your documents, the account manager in, uh, will immediately see it. You'll get the notification on his platform. Then he calls you to tell you, what you have to do. Now, if he reviews your documents and everything is okay, he'll forward them to the compliance unit for them to be approved. But if there the are few glitches with the documents, he calls you and then gives you guidelines as to what to do in order to solve that problem. With many brokers, what you have to do is to send them an email or chat them live. And sometimes it takes hours for them to respond to you and you may lose the interest because not many people can wait hours to get a response. So what? distinguishes Hantech from many other brokers is the fact that Hantech doesn't wait for you to come to us. We come to you and help you solve your problems so you can trade with very little stress. That is another reason why you must choose Hantech. One other reason is that Hantech is very transparent. Brokers are usually audited to see if they are balancing their books well and if they are managing things well. All of that is done to make sure that the investor's money is safe and in good hands. Now, with most brokers, after they are audited, it stays indoors. But Hantech annually publishes audited reports on their website that you can visit and then look at and see how well Hantech is balancing their books and how well they are managing the business. It is only a broker that has really, really good intentions and is very transparent that will show you something as delicate as an audit report. So you must also do business with a broker that is transparent. Now, one other reason, which is actually a very powerful reason, is that most brokers do not invest in education. When I say this, what I'm trying to say is most brokers do not really care if their clients are well-informed or well-educated about the markets or not. But Hantech does. That is why Hantech invests a lot of money, you know, into education, training, giving their tutors or educators, which I am one, the best form of ed uh, education as far as the financial market is concerned. So they can relay that information to our clients so that the clients are very, very well informed. So when they trade, they make money on a consistent basis. Because if they make money on a consistent basis, they will stay with the broker for a long time. That is one of the reasons why Hantech invests heavily in education. Now, Hantech also has a very tight spread. For those of you who are already trading, you know, when you place a trade and you make profit, if the broker's spread is wide, it eats into your profit and adds up to your losses. So I know quite a number of brokers that have a very wide spread. You place a trade, you make, let's say, 50 or let's say $100. I always like to use round numbers. You make $100, 
the spread alone can eat into your profit and you end up with about 92, $93. That's seven or eight dollars off. That doesn't sound much, but if you bring it to Ghana, if you convert it to our Ghanaian CD, that is a lot of money. It can buy you a very decent meal and maybe even buy you a drink in addition. So you should do business with a broker that has a very tight spread and has few commission charges and Hantech qualifies on both fronts. That is another reason why you must choose Hantech. If you leave me, I can go on and on and on and talk about Hantech and we'll not even do anything. We'll just talk about Hantech. So I'll cut it short here. So we uh, update ourselves on the weekly outlook we had on Sunday. Just look at what the pairs are doing. Then we'll do today's, we'll tweet today's topic. Now, as we go on, my panelists will be dropping links to our platforms, our Telegram platforms where we post our recorded webinar videos and then our WhatsApp platforms. They'll also be dropping our links. You know, uh, for those of you who have not registered with Hantech yet, the registration link will be dropped periodically. So you can join that link, follow that link, and then register with Hantech, the best broker in the world. Now, just to let you know, very soon we'll be opening our ultramodern office in Accra. So those of you who are living in Accra can always walk in. We'll have an ultramodern lecture theater, very comfortable furniture that you can sit on and enjoy air condition, also known as Funyanya. You enjoy the Funyanya, and then you are given very, very top-notch education. So you understand the market on a very, very deep level whilst you are enjoying the Funyanya. And you are happy, you trade, you make money, everybody is happy. But those of you who are not in Accra, don't worry too much. You can either travel to Accra, you know, once in a while to come over to the office, or you can be joining our weekly webinars. We have this, this webinars will continue forever. Once we are done with teaching you our strategy, we we'll start all over so that those who didn't join right from the beginning will have the benefits to go back to where we started from. So everything will make perfect sense to you. Good. So once again, I welcome all of you, especially the new guys here. So I've been talking for quite some time now. Straight away, I'll share a new screen with you. So we'll quickly look at some of the pairs we analyzed. We analyzed on a, on 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 Sunday. So we we'll go ahead with today's topic. Yes. Yeah, so I am uh, sharing a new screen with you. It's taking quite a while to load. Okay, it's loaded now. If you can see my new screen, please type yes. I'm on trading view now. If you can see my new screen, please type yes. Let's quickly brush through this space and then continue. It will take about five minutes to do that. So we can continue with today's. Okay, you can all you can all see my chat. That's good. Great. Okay. So uh, we analyzed NZD USD, Euro GBP, GBP USD, USD CHF. And then later I posted in the group NZD CHF. I gave you some levels to look out for. So we'll quickly look at them. Then I think we also looked at gold. Gold is the only one that would have hit your stop loss if you followed our analysis. The rest of the pairs went as analyzed. Gold is the only one which would have hit. So out of uh, one, six pairs, one would have hit your stop loss. So you'd have won five trades and lost just one. That is very, very good. So let's look at NZD USD. This is one of the trades, one of the guys, some of the guys took, and they told me they made money. Now I gave you prices to look out for as far as this was concerned. I told you to look at 0 0.65848 for support and buy from there. This was our target. It's long term, so it has not gotten there yet. But long term, that is where it is going to go to. So if you entered here, one, once we finish teaching you how to trade a daily cycle, you will not hold your trades for too long. You'll be doing intraday trading. That means you'll be closing your trades in profit every day. So you'll not stay in the market for too long. So wild reversals don't come against you. You stay in the market for a few hours, then you go. So one guy, though we have not, he has not been taught yet, he was able to execute that perfectly. So he made, according to him, he made 40 pips on this trade. This was the entry, and it went up to here, then it started to wake down. The reason why it came down was to come and fill some gap over here before it continues going up. 
I am still in this street. It came back to my entry and then went down, but it never hit my stop loss. So I'm still in it because it's a swing trade. I'm holding it till it gets here. So if you entered over here, this week we are seeing was a bullish candle that got rejected and then it started coming down. So if you place a trade from where we said you should enter, like the guy did, he told me he made 45 pips. That means he even entered at a better uh, price than what I provided. And he has not even, we are not even down with the training. That means that guy is way ahead of his time. <laughs> Let me put it that way. So you could, you would have made, assuming we had finished teaching you how to trade the daily cycle, you would have made about 41 pips from this trade, which is quite good. Now, like I said, the reason why it came back down is to fill a gap I have demarcated over here. You see, once the gap got filled, it got rejected here. And this is where I think it's going because I can see liquidity resting above over here. Long term, this is where it's going. So I'm still in this street. I haven't closed it yet. So that is it for NZD USD. So you would have made about 41 pips from NZD USD. Assuming you took it and assuming you knew how we trade the daily cycle, which we'll be teaching you, you would have made 41 pips from this. We also looked at, I also talked about NZD CHF in the group. I gave you some levels to look out for. This is it. These are the prices I give you. This is today's candle. Today's Wednesday. This is, this is a daily time frame. So this is today's candle. This is yesterday's candle. And this is Monday's candle. So if you had bought it for at the price I mentioned in the group, which was 0 0.61 trainer, I told you to look at between 0 0.60139 and then 0 0.60028. So if you had taken that one, and assuming you know how to trade the daily cycle and get out, you would have entered from here and you would have gotten out at the top of this, this very candle, this one, which would have made you eight, 38 pips. You would have made 38 pips from this trade. So add it to the other one, that is over 70 pips already. Now, the reason why NZD CHF also came down is there's a gap over here that it had to come and fill. And it also had to come and occupy a block of orders over here. Now, you can clearly see that it's getting rejected. Long term, I think it's going up here because there's a liquidity pool above here and a gap, it has to go up and fill. So I am still in this trade too. It's also a swing trade for me. But with the intra intraday trading, you could have gotten out on this candle when it went up for 38 pips. Don't worry about that. You will be taught how to do that. So this is still a very valid setup. Okay. We also spoke about Euro GBP. Let's go to Euro GBP, which is the Euro paired against a Great Britain pound. This one too, if you understand the intraday cycle, you would have made, look at the prices. I mentioned two prices too. I said 0 0.90577. And then over here, this block of order, orders which is also 0 0.90699. And then I said there was a gap here that it could go up to fill. Now, I took this and I got out on the intraday cycle because I knew that it is likely to reverse because I saw this over here, which is a morning star pattern. I saw a morning star pattern here and I also saw a gap over here. So it has to go up and fill this gap before it finally drops heavily. But you could have capitalized on the intraday cycle and if you had done that, you would have made about 53 pips. Add that to what we have made so far. That is about one, over 120 pips already. And today is only Wednesday. So you have entered here and gotten out over here. Once we teach you the daily cycle and teach you how to spot liquidity, you know when to enter, when to get out and all of that. We also looked at USD CHF. We looked at USDCHF. We said it was going to, it was going to sell. Now I told you, I couldn't tell you the high of the week yet because USDCHF was going to go up for a Judas swing, what we call a Judas swing before dropping. Now, for those of you who are monitoring, this is the Judas swing I was talking about. This, these green candles we are seeing, one, two, three. It has to go up to trap people before it comes down. I will explain that to those who will be funding $500 and above. I will explain those things to you. In fact, this one is very uh, sensitive. So let me reserve it for the $1,000 and above squad. 
I will explain Judas swing to you and I'll explain liquidity pools to you. So it went up and created the high of the day. And as soon as it created the high of the week, I, you know, I told you, I prompted you people in the group. I don't know if you remember, but I prompted you in the group. Very good. So it went up to create that. So assuming you entered after the high of the, of the week was created, which was over here. Because as soon as it happened, I said it in the group. So if you entered from there, okay, and you are still holding this trade, this trade too would have made you about 75, 75 pips. Add that to the one, over 125 pips, and we are almost 200 pips in profit for the week. Do you get me? So this, this, this is very powerful. So that's already almost 200 pips for the week. And then we also spoke of gold. Gold is the only one that would have hit your stop loss. Now that is because there's a detail I didn't see. After it, it, it hit my stop loss. So after it hit my stop loss, I analyzed it again and I realized what I left out. I bought it at this level. Then I had my stop loss just 30 pips blue. Now, because of how volatile gold is, I don't usually go in very big. So the loss was not a big loss. It was a very small loss. Mr. Richard, yes, we had a week, uh, uh, weekly outlook on Sunday. I think you didn't attend. Those who attended, they understand what I'm talking about. We published, we made broadcast of, uh, of that, uh, what do you call it, weekly outlook. Quite a number of people joined. Now, the reason why gold came down, you see, I've, I've done some demarcations over here. It came down to, that this is a gap that it has to fill. Now, it came and went a few pips into the gap. It's supposed to actually fill this gap before going up. It hasn't filled it completely. It only went a few pips below it. So I suspect that it will either start going up or it can still come back to fill this gap before eventually going up. Long term, gold is still very bullish. These cells are nothing but just retracements. Long term, it's still very, very bullish. I think it will go back to the 2020 highs, which is 2074. It will go back there. I think so. Because there's also liquidity, it has to go and clear it before they then decide if they want to continue going up or dropping. So if you are take, so let's the 200 pips minus 30 pips from gold, you would have been having 170 pips already for the week. And today is only Wednesday. The other trades will still go up. So 170 pips, and today is only Wednesday. That is very very good. If your account is big, you will make a lot of money on that. So that's just a brief overview of the analysis we did on Sunday and to update you on the happenings. So without much ado, yes, somebody is telling me he's an NZD USD buyer and he's in profit. It means he's also swinging it like me. He didn't close it. He's still holding, I'm still holding it. I'm still waiting for it to go up. So right now, let us move to our MT4, our Hantech MT4 platform and then continue from where we stopped last week. Like I said, we're just coming to look, to see the updates on the analysis we did the other time. So I'm coming to share a new screen with you. Please, this is my new screen. This is the Handtech MT4 platform. If you can see, type yes. If you can see my new screen, type yes. Okay, yes, I'm getting a lot of yeses once again. That's good, so let's continue. Now, we're talking of natural support and resistance. When we say natural support and resistance, it doesn't mean God created it all. <laughs> That's not what it means. It's called natural support and resistance because these are support and resistance levels that were derived through price action. Price itself created those resistance those support and resistance levels. That's why we call them natural support and resistance levels. Now, we spoke of the yearly highs and lows. When I say highs and lows, the high is resistance and the lows are support. So I don't have to keep saying support and resistance. If I say high, you know I'm talking of resistance. If I say low, you know I'm talking of support. So we learned how to identify the yearly highs and lows. Now, for those of you in the group who are asking me how to have this vertical lines on your chart. In any case, they are called period separators. Let me show you how you can add them to your chart. First of all, let me take them off, then I'll add them again. You can see that those vertical lines are off now. So this is how you add them. When you come to your main chart, you right click, 
then you click on properties. When you come over here, we have colors and then we have common. You come to common, then you come over here, show period separators, you take that box, then you click OK. So they have been added. These separators will help you identify the range. So they are very important. You have to add them to your chart. They will help you identify your range. So we spoke of the yearly highs and lows, monthly highs and lows, weekly highs and lows, daily highs and lows, and session highs and lows. Now, like I told you, because like I told you, the yearly highs and lows, the yearly cycle is too big a time frame for you. It is a very slow process. So those time frames are usually used by the big, big institutions. So it's too big. If you want to know the yearly highs and lows, like I explained in the other webinar, you have to switch to the monthly time frame from one period separator to the other. It's one year. Or you switch to the weekly time frame. And also from one period separator is one year. We already did this, so I'm just going over it. Then if you want the monthly cycle, you go to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, from one period separator to the other, is what? One month. From one period separator to the other, is one month. The period separators are these dotted vertical lines you are seeing. Then the weekly time, weekly cycle is on the four hour chart. From one period separator to the other, is one week. So this week's price action is still forming. This was last week. And this was the week before. Now, for the daily cycle, you go to either one hour or 15 minutes. I don't use a 30 minute time frame, so we are not going to talk about it. I use a one hour and the 15 minutes when I want to trade the daily cycle. But I prefer the 15 minutes because things are much clearer over there. So on the one hour time frame, from one period separator to the other, it's one day. And on the 15 minute time frame, from one minute, uh, one period separator to the other, it's also one day. It's also one day. So I was telling you, I have been trading this for quite some time now. So by just looking at this raw chart, I can tell you where the sessions are. You know, we spoke of the sessions. I said, generally speaking, there are five sessions. Asia, New Zealand session, Australia session, London session, and New York session. But looking at the market from the interbank perspective, the New Zealand session and the Australian session are not very relevant. Market makers base their price action around three sessions, which is the Asia session, the London session, and the New York session. So they are, the, they are those we are going to be looking at. So by just looking at it, I can tell that this is the Asia session over here. This is the London session, and this is the New York session. But because it is new to you, I have an indicator. I shared it on the platform, and I asked you to add it to your MT4. It will help you identify the sessions. Now, let me quickly show you how to add it to your MT4. Once you download it from your Telegram platform and you copy it onto your laptop or your, your desktop or whatever, you copy it from wherever you have kept it on your laptop. It could be on your desktop or in a folder somewhere. First of all, you copy it. Then you open your MT4 platform. When you open your MT4 platform, by, by then you have already copied the indicator. Come here, come to file, click on open data folder, a new window will pop up. It's taking a while to pop up. Let it pop up and let me show you exactly what to do. Very good. It has popped up, so I have to share that new screen too with you. Can you see the new screen? If you can see, type yes. If you can see my new screen, type yes. Very good. So after copying it, like I said, you go to file, then you go to open data folder, then you, it will bring you over here, then you click on MQL4. When you click on MQL4, you have these files over here, folders over here. Click on the indicators folder. Now, these are a list of ind uh, custom indicators on my chart. So what you want to do when you come here is you come to this blank space, then you right click, then you click on paste. Once you click on paste, the indicator will be added to your list of indicators. So what do you do next? You go to, the first time I see it, please, you have to watch our previous webinars. They are all on our Telegram platform and the link has been shared. It will be shared again. So you join and then watch our videos from the very beginning so you understand. We are, what we are doing is continuous. So when you join, we lead you to our Telegram platform. Then you watch our previous videos. 
you watch from there till where we are now, then you understand what we are saying. But don't worry, once we are done with everything, we'll go back and start from the scratch. So let's continue. So like I was saying, you go back to your MT4 platform. I'm going back there. Can you see my MT4 MT platform again? Type here, see if you can see it. Type here, see if you can see my MT4 platform. So let's continue. Very good. Yes, Mr. Godfrey, the link will be shared again. Please, my, my panelists, share the links. They are asking for it so they can join. All the links, the Telegram links, WhatsApp links, and then our account registration link. So those of them who don't have accounts with us can create some. So let's continue. So when you come back here, when you come back here, this is what you do. When you come back here, you click on this icon. This icon with the, what color is this? Yellow. This icon with the yellow folder and the yellow star. Click on it. Then you come over here. You see they've written indicators. What you want to do is you place your cursor on the indicators. Then you right click. Then you click on refresh. Once you click on refresh, the indicator you have added will come and be part of your list of custom indicators. Here. These are custom indicators. They are not inbuilt. I explained that in one of our earlier webinars. So once it's added over here, you will see it appear this way. This is the indicator I shared on the group, SM work time V1.5B. So you click on it, then you drag it onto your main chart, drop it there, and then click OK. You see, boxes have been added. Now the purpose of the boxes is to show you the sessions. This box, please, those who are asking for the link, it's, it's, it's about to be dropped. Someone is asking, please, this uh, indicator is for only MT4. If you, it won't work on MT5. We have MT4 on our platform, so please download it. It makes things very simple for you. It's for only MT4. It won't work on MT5. So this box you are looking at, okay? This box you are looking at is the Asia session box. I hope you can all see it. Asia session box. Like I was telling you in our previous webinar, the Asia session according to the market makers timetable, officially opens at 11 p.m. It opens at 11 p.m. Then it closes at 6, is it either 6 or 6 a.m.? Yes, it closes at 6 a.m. No, it closes at 7 a.m. Then when it closes, the London session also opens. Sometimes there's even an overlap. You find that one session is still in session, then a new session also opens. Then eventually the previous session will close then the new session will continue. So this is the Asia session box. This box over here, I think it's a sea blue color or whatever color it is, a sea blue. And the candlesticks you are seeing right from here to the top, between this box and this box, is London session. Let me demarcate it so you see what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. This is London session. This is London session. Then New York starts from here and enters into this box. We are still in New York. Okay, New York just closed. New York closes at 8 p.m. according to the market makers uh, calendar. So right now, if we were to go by the general, the general knowledge out there, which is a five sessions, we will now say that we are in New Zealand session, New Zealand and Australia session. But like I said, those sessions are not very relevant. So we'll not be talking about them. We'll not be talking about them. Very good. So let me show you. We analyzed GBP USD and I told you it was going to go up. Now, I told you the dollar was going to be weak. But then on Monday, I also updated you in the group and I told you that we are likely to see dollar strength on Tuesday. And on Tuesday, indeed, the dollar was strong. It was just retracing. So I told you to be careful with the setups. If you remember, I made mention of it in the group that the dollar was going to be strong on Tuesday. And on Tuesday, it was strong. So let's, this box over here is today's box. This is Wednesday. From here to here, this vertical line to this vertical line is Wednesday. This was yesterday, Tuesday. This was Monday, okay? And this was last week, Friday. So look, this is the trade I was talking about, the GBP USD. Now, I have already taught you how to identify the daily highs and lows. But let me take it again. As far as today's price action is concerned, 
this is today's cycle. From here, this vertical line to this vertical line. So if you want to know today's trading range, when we say trading range, we are looking at the market as far as the daily cycle is concerned. From the highest point to the lowest point or from the lowest point to the highest point, depending on whether the market is bearish or bullish. So as far as today's price action is concerned, this is the daily range. This is the highest price went, uh, price went today. And that was during the landing session. So we placed a horizontal line over there like this. And this is the lowest it went. This was the New York reversal over here. So this is today's trading range. You see, from this low to this high. Before you can trade a daily cycle, first of all, you have to be, become really, really good at identifying the daily range. And by identifying the daily range, you have to know the highs and the lows. And it's very, very easy when you switch to the 15-minute time frame. When you come here, after you've added your period separators, from one vertical line, these are the period separators, the vertical lines. From this one to this one, it's one day. So what you are seeing here is today, Wednesday's price action. So as far as today is concerned, this pair, GBPUS, it has been trading between 1.30050 and then 1.30677. That is the daily range. Please, my panelists, drop the links again. Drop the links again. New guys have joined us who want the links to all our platforms and our registration link so they can join ASAP. Please drop the links once again so the new people who have joined us can, uh, who, who have joined us can all join our platforms. Very good. So that is how you establish the daily range. So assuming you were part of, okay, the links have, are, have been dropped. So those of you who are asking for it, follow the links. One is for you to register with Hantech Markets. And the others are for you to join our Telegram platforms and our WhatsApp platforms. All the links are being dropped. So let's go back to Monday. Let me take this vertical lines off. Okay, I'll need them over here. So let me go back there. So like I said, this is Wednesday. This is Tuesday. This is Monday. And this is Friday. So assuming you were coming to trade the daily cycle on Monday, knowing, knowing, uh, the, the, the trend, GBP USD, though it is dropping now, long term, it's still bullish. It is only dropping because it has run into intermediate term resistance. There was a break in market structure on the daily time frame. It has to come back to test that break in market structure. And that break in market structure will act as support before it continues its bullishness. So we might we will see some drop in GBP USD, which is a retracement, but long term, it is still bullish. So as we analyzed on Sunday, GBP USD was what? Bullish. So if I wanted to trade the daily cycle, I already know that the market is what? Bullish. So how would I have done my analysis? I would have used the previous week's, the uh, previous week's low because it's a bullish market. So I'm interested in the low, which is support, the previous week's, uh, the previous day's low, which happens to be last week, Friday. You know, the market closes on Friday. 9 p.m. They opens on Sunday, but we we'll consider Sunday's opening as Monday. So the, I would have, knowing that the market is bullish for this pair, this would have been my reference point because that was Friday's low. Look, this box was Friday's price action. That was Friday's low. Now, this pair, GBP USD, take note of it because of the presence of the dollar in this pair. We usually see its true intention during the New York session. So one is Asia, you have no business trading GBP USD. When it's London, you have no business uh, trading GBP USD. I'll explain this into detail when we get to time and price analysis. It's not all the time you have to be in the market. There are certain times you shouldn't be in the market. You should be out. There are certain times when you should be in the market. So this thing happened during a time we call the New York kill zone. It's a kill zone because that's the time you see the true intention of the market. So you enter at that time, at that point, like a sniper. Then you get out after some hours. I will show you exactly when you should be getting out. So this would have been my point of interest, which is the lowest point, the, the uh, previous day's low, which was last week, Friday's low. Where else would I have looked at to find my range? This is my range. Now we analyze the chart from left to right. We don't analyze the chart from left to left. So once I have found my low, I'm now looking for my intraday high. Now, where's my intraday high? And I'm telling you, this pair, you see its true intention during New York. So you have to wait for Asia session and you have to wait for London session to be over. 
So we would have been looking for our high between the Asia session and the London session. Now this is the Asia box. So this was the highest price went during Asia. But then during London, it went higher than it did during Asia. So this was our high as far as the London session was concerned. So this would have been our range. We would have drawn our low, Friday's low, then our high would have been London high right here. So how would we have known exactly where to enter? This is natural support and resistance. But in order to know exactly where to enter, we would have used implied support and resistance. Remember what I mentioned on Friday's webinar. I said we have natural support and resistance and implied support and resistance. So we have identified the range using natural support and resistance. Then now we would have used implied support and resistance in order to get a good entry. So I will show you Fibonacci and I'll explain to you how Fibonacci works. Now, some of you already trade and I believe some of you already know what Fibonacci is. But once I plot it, you realize that it is not the ordinary Fibonacci you know. The settings are different. This one is customized. It is not the ordinary one you know out there. Like I told you, at Hantec, we give you the best and we give you information that not a lot of people have access to because this market has got secrets that we have come to know and we'll be giving you some of those secrets. But for those of you who fund $1,000 and above, we'll give you all the secrets. We'll show you how to identify liquidity, how to identify fake moves. This over here was a fake move, this down move. It's called a Judas swing. So you wouldn't have entered on this street. So now, in order to know exactly where we would have entered, we have already established our range, which is last week Friday's New York low, and then Monday's London high. Look at the New York box. Look at where my case is. This was last week Friday's New York low, and this was Monday's London high. So we would have taken our Fibonacci tool, then we would have plotted it from the lowest point of the range to the highest point of the range. Now watch me. We would have plotted it this way. We'll click on the low, then we drag it up. We'll drag the Fibonacci up. We are dragging it up to the next red horizontal line, which happens to be London's high. That is our upper range. And we would have dragged it. You can see that the Fibonacci has got certain parameters. We would have dragged it up to where we have written profit scaling. And we would have ended there right on profit scaling. Please, I have just plotted a Fibonacci. If you can see some black horizontal lines with certain parameters or writings, type yes. So I'll explain how we use Fibonacci to you. Very good. Now, a lot of you are typing yes, which means you can see it. For those of you who are asking for the links, they have all been dropped. Please follow the links and join our various platforms. Very good. So look very carefully. I'm already teaching you implied support and resistance. Yes, these lines, vertical lines you are seeing here are basically acting as support and resistance. Now who is Fibonacci or what is Fibonacci? Fibonacci was an Italian mathematician some centuries ago. And he was a very, very brilliant man. He came up with what is referred to as a Fibonacci sequence. And we see it recurring in almost every aspect of life. If you look at the petals of a flower, how they were designed by God, you can see that God designed them using a certain sequence. And this guy studied that sequence and he named it after himself. His name was Leonardo Fibonacci. So he, he discovered it. So he named it the Fibonacci sequence. Now, Fibonacci exists in almost every aspect of life. And Forex, mathematicians also studied this market. So once they studied it, they were able to come up with the Fibonacci sequence that we are able to use in Forex to identify support and resistance areas. We call them implied support and resistance areas because they were not generated by price action. They were generated by mathematical studies that help us to know where to enter. Now, Fibonacci itself does not do any magic for you. The magic lies in your ability to identify the trading range. Then you plot the Fibonacci accordingly. Now, this, let me give you a, 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 a trick or a clue over here. I want you to see Forex not as a get rich quick scheme, though Forex will make you very rich. Forex is a business, just like any other business. Now, let me give you an analogy. We have two businessmen. We have Kofi and Kwabna. Kofi and Kwabna are both phone dealers. They have gone to the phone market to buy phones to come and sell. There's a particular phone brand out there. Let's say it's a Samsung phone. 
Now, the market value of that Samsung phone is 500 CDs. Okay? Kofi goes and then he's able to bargain with them and he buys it. The market value is 500 CDs, but Kofi is able to buy it for 400 CDs, which means he has bought it at a what? Discount. Kwabuna also goes and the market value is 500 CDs, but Kwabuna is not a very good businessman. So instead of buying it for 500 CDs, he ends up buying it for 600 CDs. He has been cheated because he's buying it at an inflated price. Do you get me? Kofi bought it at a discount price. Kobna bought it at an inflated price. So which of them is a better businessman? Type your answer. Is Kofi the better businessman or Kobna? Kofi bought it at a discount. Kobna bought it at a discount at, at an inflated price. Which of them is a better businessman? Let me see your answers. Kofi is very obvious. Kofi is a better businessman. Now, the discount guy. Yeah, somebody said discount guy. I like that response. <laughs> discount guy. I like that response. So it's the same thing in Forex. Some people buy at inflated prices because they are not very well informed traders. Informed traders never buy at a discount at an inflated price. They always buy at discount. Now, once you establish your daily rate, Fibonacci will help you. Me, I've been using it for quite some time. So even without plotting Fibonacci, I know where the discount is. But it's new to some of you. Some of you may already know it, but I believe it's new to the majority of you. So once you have established your range, that is after you have, been, you have established that the market is a bullish market. Now we are waiting for price to come to discount for us to buy. Now how do we know it's in discount? When price falls below 50%, can you see 50% over here? Type here, see if you can see 50% equilibrium. 50% is a fair market value. Type here, see if you can see 50% equilibrium. Very good. So it's fair market value, but we are not even interested in buying it at a fair market value. We want discount. So we are patiently waiting for the market to come to discount. Now, all the prices below 50% are discount. This is 62%. It's a discount price. We have 70.5, also known as OT. Now, OT means optimal trade entry. It is also discount. And 79% is deep discount. Sometimes it comes that deep. Now, I took this trade. Let me show. Let me see those of you who have been learning. I waited for this trade to come to seventy-nine percent before I bought it. Now you may be asking yourselves, why didn't I buy it at the other discount prices? This is the reason. I looked to the left. That was Friday's Friday's price action. Then this is a support level. But this is a bullish engulfing pattern. Can you see the bullish engulfing pattern? Let me highlight it. Let me see those of you who have been revising every day. But I want to make your work less difficult. So let me highlight it. Can you see it? Can you see the bullish engulfing pattern? If you can see it, type yes. Type yes if you can see the bullish engulfing pattern. Very good. So I realized that price was at a support level and the support level has happened to be last week, five days low. But I also saw that there was a bullish engulfing pattern there. So I knew price was coming down there. To find support, let me place a horizontal line there. You see, I have placed a horizontal line there. Now, another reason why I knew it would come down there is because there is a gap over here that price had to come down and fill. Now, the one thousand dollars and above deposit group, I will show you how to identify these gaps. It has to come back to fill that gap, and then there is also a bullish engulfing pattern there. That's how I knew it would go for seventy nine percent discount. And look at what happened. You see, immediately you filled the gap and then went for the bullish engulfing pattern, which is a bullish order block, by the way. It didn't waste time over there. It started going up. Do you see how fast it moved? Now, I held this trade till this box appeared. Then I got out because I looked at the dollar index again and then I realized that it was likely to be strong because I knew it was going to retrace up. That was when I informed you in the group that the dollar is likely to be strong for a while so be careful those of you who were, who were who were in the group on that day you remember so look at the peps you would have made if you had caught this trade from here right to this place 79 peps you close it this is intraday trading so once you book your 79 peps you are done for the day if it's the only pair you trade you have made your 79 peps close it go to sleep go and spend time with your wife if you are married if you are not married and you have a girlfriend go and spend time with her 
Spend time with your friends. Go and watch a movie or do something. You are down for the day. Close the chat. Go and rest. Then in the night, when the market closes, you open your chat again to see where the daily candle closed. Then you know where the daily candle closed. You write it down in your Forex journal. And then you wait for the following day's New York session. That is if you want to trade GBP USD. Its true intention is always revealed during New York session. So you have closed it. You have taken note of the previous day's candle close. Then you wait for New York session. So by New York session, you would have seen the London high. Then you look for your range and then you repeat. You make a profit. You are out of there. So you not stay in the market for long. You be in the market for a few hours. Let's say some four or five hours. Then you are out. Then you can go and do your other activities. You see, I, I taught some people this and they are making very, very good trades with it. And they are excited because they are able to book profit every single day. So if you understand the daily cycle, you can take about four or five pairs that you'll be trading. Then you analyze those pairs and you only wait. When I teach you price and uh, time analysis, you will understand when to enter the market with regards to the various pairs. There are some pairs that move during Asia, some that move during London, some that move during New York. And now any pair that has the dollar in it shows you its true intention during the New York session. If you trade it during London, you are likely to lose because you are going, you are, you, are, you are falling for the fake move. The move we refer to as a Judas swing. That move will betray you. That's why we call it Judas swing. It's a swing that will betray you. When I teach you market structure, you understand what a swing is. We will be doing market structure on Friday. So you see how you could have simply traded, traded this pair. That is exactly what I am talking about. So, I haven't traded this pair ever since I closed my profit over here because I know that long term is bullish. So I'm not interested in the sales. That is the type of trader I am. If the trend is bullish, I'm only looking for buy opportunities. But thanks be to God, now we are able to tell when a pair or an instrument is very likely to retrace. That was how I knew the dollar was going to retrace yesterday and I sounded an alarm in the group because we understand where the liquidity is. And where the gaps are. Okay, Fibonacci, you are in love with it already. You have not seen anything yet. You are going to fall more in love. What will teach you other things? You are not, your love has just started, Mr. Jared. You are going to fall deep in love with Fibonacci and all the other things we will teach you. When, I, when we teach you market structure and then price and time analysis, you will not only fall in love with these concepts, you will fall in love with Hantec in general. Because you have other friends who are trading out there and they don't know these things. This is not public knowledge. What we are teaching you here is very, very sacred knowledge. Some traders know it, but the majority of traders don't. So that is an example. Very good. So what I want to do now is to plot Fibonacci. Okay, we'll look at another example. Then we'll look for the daily range and then I'll show you Fibonacci. Let's look at USD CHF. First of all, let me clean these uh, horizontal lines so they don't show up in another chart and be disturbing you. Now let's look at USDCHF. This is USDCHF. Now on Sundays, uh, what do you call it? Sunday's outlook, we spoke of USDCHF and we said the trend was what? Bearish. This is today's price action from year to year. From here to today is today's price action. From here to here was yesterday's price action. Yesterday was Tuesday. Then this was Monday. So, yeah, this was Monday. Monday's, yeah, this is Monday. And this was, uh, what do you call it? Friday. Good. So, we want to know, we are coming to trade a daily cycle on USDCHF. So first of all, we have to go to the previous day's, previous day's price action. And since we are looking for sales, we are interested in what? The highs. When I say highs, I'm referring to resistance. So we are more interested in the highs than the lows because the lows are for buys, but we are looking for sell opportunities. Now, if you come over here, like I said, this pair, USDCHF, mostly, most of the time, 
nothing is perfect. So some of the time it won't happen the way I'm saying it. But most of the time, you see it's true intention during the New York session. I can say uh, eight out of 10 times, you see it's true intention during the New York session. So we would have waited for New York session. Now, then once the New York, uh, we would have waited for landing session to be over. Then once landing session is over, what would we have looked for? For our resistance. This would have been our reference point. But then if you look at what was happening, price has closed above this previous high, which was Friday's New York high. That means that this high is no longer valid. So you can't use it for analysis because price has broken it. That means price is going for a higher high. So what do you do? You go to the previous day. If you come to the previous day, that high, this is the previous day. That was last week, Thursday. That high too was what? Has been breached because price is higher than it. So this is where we would have come to, to look for our high, our reference point high. That was, let me go back so you guys don't get lost. This is today, today's price action. This was yesterday, Tuesday. This was Monday. This was Friday. This was Thursday, last week, Thursday. This was Wednesday, and this was last week, Tuesday. So Tuesday's high has not yet been traded into last week, Tuesday's high. So that would have been our reference point. We are only looking at that because all the highs we could have used, price has traded above them. So we can no longer use them for analysis. Those highs have been violated. So they are no longer valid for analysis. So we would have been looking for one that is not yet violated. So we would have come over here. Now, I may have to zoom out so that I can see what is happening over there. Now look at something. You realize that, okay, so let me take it again. So you, this is today, Wednesday. This was yesterday, Tuesday. This was Monday. This was last week, Friday. This was last week, Thursday. Last week, Wednesday. And last week, what? Uh, Tuesday. So this would have been our reference. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And this is Monday. So let me illustrate here. So this is, so once a high or a low is violated, you look for a new high by going further back on your chart. Once it's violated, you can't use it for your analysis. So this is Monday. So this would have been our, our, our reference. Okay. So like I was telling you, we do our analysis from the left to the right. We don't do our analysis from the left to the left. No, we go back to the left because it's the past. And we are interested in what? Future price action. That is why we do our analysis from the left to the right. Now, if you look at the right, where is the lowest point? If you look to the, this is a low, this is a low. These are all lows. But we realize that this is the lowest point as far as this range is concerned. So that would have been our heart, our reference low. We are looking for our reference low because we want to establish the trading range. So we can see where we would have entered for Monday's, Monday's trading. So we would have taken our Fibonacci. This time it's a sell. So we don't plot from the, the low to the high. Rather, we plot from where? The high to the low. So we would have taken our Fibonacci, which is implied support and resistance, clicked on our reference high. They would have dragged down. We are dragging down till profit scaling with regards to the parameters. Then we would have ended here. Now see something. This was equilibrium. I have I only zoomed out so you can see what is happening. So you have to strain your eyes. Bear with me in order to see some of these things. This was equilibrium. So this was Monday. There's no way we'll be selling here because it's equilibrium. Equilibrium is fair market value. We don't want to sell at a fair market value. We want to sell at what premium. Now let me go back to the coffee and. Uh, who did I use? I said Kofi and Kobina. Let's go to the Kofi and Kobina analogy. Kofi bought the phone at 400 CDs, which was discount. Kobina bought his at 600 CDs. Now they are both going to sell. But because Kofi is a smart businessman and he likes to make a lot of profit, instead of selling it, let's say, instead of selling it for, let's say, 800 CDs, he decides to sell it for 900 CDs at a premium. Now Kobina, who bought it at 600 CDs? has gone to sell it for 700 CDs. Which of the two will make more profit, Kofi or Kobna? Type your answer. 
Let me see which of them do you think would have made more profit. Kofi or Kofi, Kofi who sold at a premium or Kwabna? Hey, the answers are not coming. Okay, they started coming. Definitely, Kofi would have made more profit. So in Forex, we are waiting for price to come to premium before we sell. If it doesn't come to premium, there's no way we are selling. We are not interested in fair market value. Fair market value is, is good, but we don't want fair market value. We want discount, a uh, premium. We are selling, so we are interested in premium. Now, any of the figures below 50% is premium. So you see, we have 62%. We have 70.5% OT. We have 79%. Now, on Monday, it even went above that. Then it almost came to 100%, which is deep premium. Now, this is why it came to 100%. In fact, to turn you guys into very formidable traders, you have to learn how to identify liquidity. Now, even though I have zoomed out, when I look over here, I can see what we call equal highs over here. So that tells me there's liquidity here that they have to grade before they come down. So though it came to 62% and 72%, I'll not sell it because I know that there's liquidity equal highs over here. Look at where my case is that they have to go and grade. That was doing last week tuesday's uh, what do you call it new york session it's created equal highs over there did i say equal lows initially i'm referring to equal highs sorry not equal lows there are equal highs over there that they had to go and read before so you would have waited assuming you understand the daily cycle you understand fibonacci and you understand liquidity as well you would have waited for them to rate the liquidity above there then immediately after they rated it you enter your trade so you would have caught it at a very good price, a very good premium, deep premium. So assuming you entered after the liquidity was raided and you would have exited in this box, it's always good you exit in that box. Hmm? You would have made 43 pips from this trade. Now add that 43 pips to the 70 pips you made on GBP USD. How much is that? Just on Monday, you have already made over 100 pips. Some traders beg for 50 pips and they don't get it. But just Monday, because you know the daily cycle, you know Fibonacci, you know price and time analysis, and you understand liquidity, you have already made over 100 pips on a Monday. You understand? So you are happy. You have already made 100 pips and you entered at really, really good areas. So the drawdown on your trade wouldn't have been big. Do you get me? So this. It's very, very important. You have to understand this. So what I'm going to do is, as a gift from Handtech to each and every one of you on our platform, I will be sharing the Fibonacci settings with you and show you how to set it on your MT4 platform. So you can use it. And again, I'll teach you into detail how to use it. So you can use it to always get, to always enter the market at a good price. But bear in mind, if you don't know how to establish the daily ranges, Fibonacci will become useless to you. Fibonacci is not a magical tool. The magic actually lies in your ability to identify the daily trading range. So Fibonacci itself is not magical. So let's continue. Hey, the network again. My God. Let me up again once more. So we have to hurry up and wind up. The network has started misbehaving like it did the other day, but I am hoping that we can finish with what we are talking about. Then we, we, we just close. Now, the links will be dropped again. My panelists, can you drop the links once again for those who joined late to get the link? So that those who joined late can get the links and then join our various platforms. Very good. The links have been dropped again. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is uh, implied support and resistance for you. Fibonacci. Now, let me take it again. Let's look at it again. Let's look at another example. Then we can close for today. On Friday, we'll be looking at market structure. We'll be looking at market structure. So, please, I shared the indicator both on the channel and the group. It is called ISM work time. So go to the channel and then look for it. 
download it and install it on your MT4, like I showed you. Once you install it, it will show you how to identify the daily ranges. You only see it clearly when you come to one hour or 15 minutes. When you go to four hour, it makes your chart look messy. Let me go to four hour and you see. You see how it looks. When you come to the daily time frame, you will see it because it's meant to show you the sessions. You only see it well on one hour and 15 minutes, but I prefer 15 minutes because it's much more clearer over there. So let's look at one more example. Let's look at one more example. Let's look at a, what pair should we look at? Can you suggest a pair? Those of you who are already trading, suggest a pair. So we'll look at it and we'll use Fibonacci to analyze it and show you where you could have taken your trades when the week started. If you don't have a pair in mind, I'll choose one. So we use it. Okay, let's, let's look at GBPC. Okay, someone is suggesting something. USD JPY, very good. Let's look at USD JPY. Hey, two people are asking for USD JPY. That's okay. This is USD JPY. Now, USD JPY was strong yesterday because of the retracement I warned you about in the group. It was strong. So let's see how you could have traded. Today, there was no... Sometimes you will not get a setup. You have to come up, to become accustomed to that. It's not all the time you should trade. When you don't get a setup, when, when you don't get a setup that meets all your rules, don't trade. You don't lose anything by not trading. But if you jump into the market, when a setup has not met all your rules and then you trade, you can lose. But if you stay out, you don't lose anything. So only enter the market when it meets your conditions. So to, this is Tuesday. Look at how you could have traded this. Look at how you could have traded this on Tuesday. So you would have looked at Monday. Okay? You would have looked at Monday. Now, where is Monday's range? This is the low. And it happened during New York. Let me zoom out. Hey, zoom in. This is Wednesday. This was Tuesday yesterday. This was Monday. So let's analyze the chart using Monday's reference points. So this was Monday's low, which happened during New York session. So you place your horizontal line there, like this. Then let's see if, if it would have come to our, uh, what do you call it? To our discount level. Now, this was yet to happen. So this would have been our high, which happened to be London high. Remember, I said we analyze a chart from the left to the right, not from the left to the left or from the right to the left. So this would have been your high. Because by then, this was yet forming. This price action hadn't taken place yet. So you would have taken your Fibonacci. You plot from the lowest point to the highest point. Using what? Fibonacci. You would have dragged and then you would have ended at profit scaling. This is where you would have ended. Did it come to discount yes did it go past discount yes did it come to did it come to premium uh, sorry discount it did come to discount but before it goes to discount it has to go to fair market value which is equilibrium 50 percent did it go there yes it did did it come below it yes it did did it come to 60 percent no it didn't why didn't it come to 60 percent that is where you apply other things like market structure now because i know market structure i know that this was a break in market structure where i'm placing the horizontal line right now so that is resistance that has become support over here you see that is resistance that has become support so because of that break in market structure and because of the fact that there is no gap here all the gaps here market didn't create any gap here there is no likelihood that it will come down here why? Because there's a, grip, a, a, a break in market structure above here. And there's no liquidity over here. There's no gap. So there's no way to come here. So your target would have been, your entry target would have been the break in market structure, which in this example lies with 50% equilibrium. So this is one of the circumstances where you would have considered the 50% equilibrium mark. Why? Because it is right on the break in market structure, which was resistance that has now become support. And then below it, though, is discount there is no liquidity market didn't create any gaps over here where there are no gaps they don't go 
they are only interested in where there are gaps because where there are gaps is where there's liquidity. So assuming based on that knowledge, you entered over here. Now, one good thing about this Fibonacci tool is that it gives you targets. One, from my own observation, I realized that most of the time it goes for target one. Sometimes it also goes, can you see target one and target two? If you can see them, type yes. Sometimes it goes for target two as well, but most of the time it goes for target one and then it's not all the time it goes for target two. So based on your Fibonacci and the other things I have mentioned, very good, you can see target one and target two. You would have entered the trade this time around on the break in market structure, which happened to be our fair market value. And you would have gone to target one. You could have, when you got to target one, assuming you opened two positions, you could have closed one position. Then you let the other one run to see if it will get to target two. In this example, it also got to target two. So you would have made a total of 59 pips, almost 60 pips on this trade. So add that to the 120 you have already made. How much is that? Almost 180. And it's just Tuesday. Tuesday, you have already made 180 pips. Some people are crying for 50 pips. They are not getting. But you on Tuesday, you already have 180 pips from the market. Because you understand the daily cycle, you understand how to establish the daily cycle ranges, you, are, you understand how to use Fibonacci, which is an implied support and resistance tool. And you also understand market structure, which I'll be teaching you on uh, Friday. Then you are in the 1,000 and above deposit group. So you also understand liquidity. There are those who will be teaching the liquidity. There are different forms of liquidity. For the rest of you guys who will not fund 1,000 and above, I will show you just one or two. But then I'll go ahead to show the other guys more. The reason is that when you fund big, now the other time some of you are asking me, how does Hantech make money if we don't charge a lot of commissions and all of that? We make money through volume generation. Now when you fund and you trade, and you keep making profit. It generates volume for Hantech. The more volume you generate, the more money the company makes. So if you have a friend and he funds $10,000 and you fund $500, his account is far bigger than yours. So he can use bigger trading volumes. That means he'll generate more volume for Hantech. So we decided that, okay, those who generate more volume for us because of their big deposits, let's help them. Let's give them more information. So if you, any of you happens to deposit $10,000, we'll give you all, we'll teach you how to interpret macro analysis, how to interpret seasonal tendencies, commitment of traders' reports. We will teach you how to understand open interest and other things, economic factors that influence this market, especially the US dollar. We will teach you all those things and show you how to interpret them and show you where to go and get information about them. Not everybody knows, but we know. We will show you. So we are teaching you for free because Hantech invests a lot in education. But those of you who will fund big, We'll give you all, all the tools in our arsenal. We have a lot of tools. We have AK-47. We have shotguns. We have missiles. They are all there in our arsenal, in our weaponry. If you find big, we'll give you all these weapons. And Forex will become a very exciting journey for you. It will become very interesting. And you'll be very happy. You'll be glad that you met Hantech. And those of you who are already in love with Fibonacci, you'll fall in love more. You'll fall in love with all the tools and you'll fall in love with Hantech. Very good. So like I was saying, I'll, I'll post the settings of the Fibonacci. That one I'm giving it to all of you. It's a gift from Hantech to all of you. And I'll show you how to set it. Now let me quickly show you how to set the, set the Fibonacci. Now, I have moved my Fibonacci tool here. But when you go to MT4, you are not likely to see it here because you have not yet moved it here. It is over here. When you go to insert, you go to Fibonacci. You click on retracement. We have Fibonacci retracement and expansion. I don't use the expansion. The retracement is okay for me. So you click on the retracement. But if you want to add it over here, so you can quickly access it, you just come to this toolbar over here. Then you right click. Then you come to customize. When you come to customize, all the tools that you have not yet added will be here. You see Fibonacci retracement here. Then you click on it. Then you click on insert. Assuming I want to add Fibonacci expansion, I'll click on Fibonacci expansion. Then I click on insert. You see, it has been added over here. Then I close it. So go there and add your Fibonacci over here. So once you do it, let me show you how to set it. You take the Fibonacci tool, just plot it. Plot it on your chart. Now, once you plot it, you realize that the custom color is yellow. But the yellow sometimes is too black for my liking. I prefer black. So I change my color to black. You realize that it's yellow. The lines are 
all horizontal except this one line, which is diagonal. Double click on the diagonal line. Please pay keen attention. I'm showing you how to set your Fibonacci settings. Double click on it. These some uh, dots will pop up. Once those dots pop up, right click on them, then come to Fibonacci properties. The settings are here. I'll show you the settings. It's just level and description. So when you look at the settings, you type here, then you type in the level. Then you come to the description. Then the description that is matching that level, you type it there, then you move on. You do that till you key in all the parameters I'll give you. If you want to change the color, you come to style. You click on style, all the colors are available. You choose the color that you like. I prefer black because black is king and black is beautiful. So I choose black. So you click on the color you want, then you click on OK, and then it will set. Your parameters will change. So I'll post it in the group. Those of you who are already in the group, remind me, I'm a very busy person, so sometimes I forget. If you wait for a while and it's not coming, please remind me, either in a private message or in the group, then I'll be posting it over there. Yes, black stars. <laughs> so my panelists, once again, please drop our beautiful links, our beautiful WhatsApp link, our beautiful Telegram channel and page link, and our beautiful Handtech account registration link. So those who have not yet opened accounts with Handtech, will open accounts with us and fund $10,000, $100,000. Some of them will even fund $1 million. And we'll give them all our weapons so they can make a lot of money. So the links have been dropped. Those of you who didn't have access to them, they have been dropped now. Please follow the links and join our beautiful platforms and follow us. You want to join because... Like I said, I'll be putting the settings in the group and show you how to, I've already shown you how to do the settings. But just in case it's a bit technical for you, you can send me a message and then I'll show you. So that is it with implied support and resistance. In our next lesson, we are going to talk of market structure, which will be on Friday. On Friday, we'll talk of market structure. Then if time permits us, I don't think time will permit us on Friday, but if time does permit us, we'll also look at price and time Price and time analysis. There are times you should enter the market and there are times you should stay away. And when you are in the market, there are times you should get out and times you should hold your trades. We'll show you all those things when we get to price and time analysis. Minimum amount you can trade on with Handtech. I think it's about uh, $20 or so. But why would you want to fund with $20? You, I know you, you are a rich man, Mr. Elon. Fund with $20,000. $20,000. Hmm? The minimum is... The minimum is $20, but if you have $20,000, $200,000, $1 million, you can fund. There's no maximum. Even if you have $1 billion, you can fund on our platform. It's not all brokers that you can fund very, very big with, but tier one regulatory brokers like Handtech, you can even fund $1 billion. Yes, so if you have $1 billion, Mr. Elon, fund. So we'll give you all our tools <laughs> so you can trade with them and make a lot of money. Good. So ladies and gentlemen, this is time for you to ask your questions. So I'll answer them and then we'll close for tonight's session so we can all go and sleep or read or watch movies or do whatever it is we want to do. Okay, thank you to Mr. Elon. Please, if you have questions, ask me. Let me answer and let's continue and let's end tonight's lesson. Hey, nobody has a question. I know you have questions. Ask, please, and let's, let's answer your questions, and then we are done for tonight. Hey, nobody has a question. Okay, I think someone is asking a question. Please, can you post Sunday's web? Unfortunately, it was market outlook, so... It wasn't recorded. That one was not a lesson. We were just analyzing the market. So it wasn't recorded. That's why I've not posted it in the group. But this one is being recorded. I'll post it afterwards. Using Fibonacci, when do you enter? If you are buying, okay, first of all, you want to buy when the market is bullish. So you do your analysis on the bigger time frames and then you realize that the market is bullish. When you come to the daily range, Establish your daily range, the high and the low. Plot from the low to the high. Then wait for price to come below 50%. That is fair market value. It has to come into discount before you buy. Mr. Isaac, it has to come below discount. 
So as soon as it comes below discount, you can enter the trade. I don't know how long it will take to get there. It will depend on how volatile the market is at that point in time. If the market is very volatile, it won't take long. But if there's no much volatility, it may take some time before it comes there. But be patient. Always wait for it to come to discount before you buy. Don't buy before it comes to discount. If not, you'll be buying at an inflated price. Okay, you understand. Any other question? How can we use Fibonacci setup on Android? Okay, very good. That's a very good question. There's also settings for the phone. I'll send you that one too. It's a gift from Antec to all of you. I'll send it to you. So you set it on your phone as well. I'll send that one to you. What currency pairs do you have to trade during the New York session, please? New York session is very good for any currency pair that has a dollar in it. Because New York is in the US. And US, their currency is a dollar. So any pair that has the US dollar in it is very good for the New York session. Please, how do I know when the market is bullish or bearish? Okay. Well, when we teach you market structure, you will understand. That will be on Friday, Mr. Richard. Don't worry. We will look at that on Friday when we talk of market structure. Kindly finish me with your WhatsApp line. I wish to chat to you privately. Okay. Those of you who want my private number, let me mention it for you. If you have a pen and paper with you, you can write it. 54 2419 One more time. 54 Yes, it has been dropped. One of my panelists has dropped it. So can I can all settings also work on iPad? I think so. If MT4 is able to work on your iPad, these settings will also work on it. They will work on the iPad. Which one do you recommend? Phone. The best place to do analysis is on a computer, either a laptop or a desktop. On the phones and uh, pads and all those things, sometimes you face challenges. So always use a laptop for your analysis. Which one do you recommend? Okay, I've already answered that. Can you go over the sessions? Okay, let me quickly do that. I said there are three sessions. There are five sessions, generally speaking. When you go to Google, that's what you see, five sessions. Uh, Asia session, New Zealand session, Australia session, New York session, uh, and London session. But when you look at the market from the market maker's perspective, or when you look at the market from the interbank perspective, only three sessions matter. That is the Asia session, the London session, and the New York session. Now, when you insert this indicator, the reason I've given you this indicator is to help you identify the sessions very easily. This box you are looking at is the Asia, the Asia session. Asia session officially opens at 11 p.m., then it closes at 7 a.m. Then the London session also opens around that time. London session, as from 7 a.m., it closes around 4 p.m. And the New York session opens at 2 p.m. No, 1 p.m. and closes at 8 p.m. So there's usually an overlap between the London session and the New York session. Then the London session closes at 4 p.m. Now for pairs that have the US dollar in them, the best time to trade them are during the New York session. That is why I say uh, install this indicator on your MT4. So it will make it very easy for you to identify the sessions. But don't worry too much. When we talk of, when we get to price and time analysis, I'll go into more detail. This one is just to whet your appetite. And from the, the questions you are asking, I believe I've succeeded in whetting your appetite. So you will not miss our subsequent webinars because we'll be talking about those things. So don't worry too much about it. We'll talk about price and time analysis into detail. Can I perfect trading by watching your previous videos? Yes, our previous videos, when you go to our Telegram channel, please start from the 23rd July video down. The videos above that, if you like, you can ignore them because those ones, we didn't really go into details. And we were only teaching people how to use some indicators. The real information is from 23rd July downwards. So when you go onto the uh, Telegram channel, the video from 23rd July, download it and come down and download all the videos below and watch them accordingly, one by one. You will understand everything. When you have questions, you can ask on the Telegram platform or you can send me a private message. On the Telegram platform, my name is Hunter. 
they call me hunter because I'm always hunting pips. That's why. So you see it over there. You can send me a private message or in the group, and I'll be glad to answer you. Okay. Please help us do the session setup on Android. Well, these session setups, it was designed for, for laptop use. You can't install it on your phone. I forgot to mention that. You can only install it on your computer, either a laptop or a desktop. It will not work on your phone. So once you practice with what you see on the laptop, eventually you won't even need this indicator. You'll be able to identify them with your naked eyes. You become a naked trader. When we say naked trader, it doesn't mean you strip yourself naked <laughs> and sit down to trade. No. It means you trade pure uh, price action. You don't use indicators. I use indicators sometimes, but I'm more of a price action trader because I've learned it over the time. So I, I understand it very well now. And I'm, I'm still learning. So I can give you guys the best of knowledge. So it won't work on your phone. The man that asked that question, uh, Mr. Godwin, it won't work on your phone. It will only work on your laptop. The indicator is sent on the platform. Okay, I think I have answered your questions. So, I want to use this opportunity to thank each and every one of you. There was a massive outing today. I am very happy many of you attended. I believe many more will attend our subsequent webinars. Please, you have seen something good. In fact, something great called Hantech. Don't keep it to yourself. Let's not be selfish. Tell your friends about this. Tell your loved ones. Hmm? Tell your friends, your loved ones, your girlfriends. The lady, there are ladies here too. Tell your boyfriends. Those of you who are married, tell your wives, tell your children. Bring them on board. Let Hantek train them. This is something great you have discovered. You will understand how great it is as we go further. Don't keep it to yourself. We have been very selfless by not charging you a dime. And we are giving you real-time knowledge knowledge from the interbank level free of charge so let your friends and loved ones also benefit tell them about Hantech. bring them to our webinars share our links to them when we post the links to our webinars let them join and see the great thing that you have discovered by the time we are done training you you become an assassin when we say an assassin you become a sniper you see how snipers are they wait they can stay on the top of a building or a cliff for a very long time just for their target to appear. When the target appears, one shot and the target is down. That is how you should trade. Don't trade like a, a machine gun shooter. Those of you who have watched Terminator before, Arnold Schwarzenegger, he comes out with his big gun. He's shooting everywhere. Eventually, he hits ta his target, but he ends up destroying a lot of property. You don't want to do that in trading. Be like Jason Bourne. Those of you who have watched that movie before, he stays on the cliff or the top of the building, the skyscraper, and he can be there for hours. Then when his target appears, one shot, the target is down. He doesn't destroy anything. And that is how you should treat. And that is how we are going to train you. That's why I say you should know the session you want to treat. Then when it's not time for that session, don't enter the market. Be a sniper. Have patience. Wait for the market to come to you. And then you take it. Forex is a lady. If you rush her too much, she'll turn you down. But if you show her that you are patient and you are, you are, you are smart, she'll come to you. Then you take your treats. Let us put that in mind. So learn to be patient traders. We'll talk more about that when we get to trading psychology. So I want to thank each and every one of you for showing up for today's webinar. I am looking forward to seeing you back again on Friday, same time, 7.30 p.m., where we'll be talking about market structure. It's going to be mega. It's going to be super. It's going to be kicking and giving. You don't want to miss it. You want to be here to understand market structure from the interbank perspective. I always use interbank because... You will understand as we go on. Let me not talk too much. So please show up on Friday like you showed up today. And let's, let's take you through market structure. Okay, so you see, the market has just, today's candle has just closed. You see a new box has been printed. So you see price start forming in this box. But officially, the Asia session will open in two hours time. But the Asia box has already formed. Tomorrow, when it's time for New York, you see that the New York box also formed. That's what this indicator does for you. So I wish each and every one of you a very good night. Pray before you sleep. Please, when you don't, if you don't have anything very important to do outside, stay indoors. Corona is real. Hantech wants you to stay alive and then sign up. Fund your account with $10,000, $20,000, $100,000. We'll give you all our tools. We'll trade 
you will make a lot of money and you'll be a very happy person. Thank you all for joining today's webinar. And I hope you enjoyed the lesson and you follow the links to join our various platforms and sign up with Handtech. See you on Friday, 7.30 p.m. God bless each and every one of you and, and have a very, very lovely night. Thank you once again.